and folks. But, 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 but the Lord didn't tell me to cast them out. So I got to be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, 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 and what I did, let, let me read this and we're going to get out of here. So I'll move down the clock. We'll finish this up. Uh, and to him they had regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they was baptized both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and, and, and wondering, behold, the miracles and the signs which was done. So, so Simon the sorcerer actually got saved. He got baptized. After Philip preached to him and baptized him in the name of Jesus Christ. But we'll read on down here and find out that, that Simon, he was, a, he was amazed at the signs and the miracles. But when they believed Philip preaching and the things concerning the kingdom of God, and the name of Jesus Christ, they was baptized both men and women. And then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip. And, and with Philip. And wondered, beholding the miracles. So miracles and signs which was done. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that, Samaritan, that, that, that the Samaritans had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who when they came down prayed for them that they may receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he, 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 he was falling upon none of them only, they that was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So during that time, the gift of the Holy Ghost had not fell upon none of them in Samaritan. But when Peter and John came, the Holy Ghost fell upon them. They prayed for them and they received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles' hand, the Holy Ghost was given he offered them money. He wanted to buy the gift of the Holy Ghost. Saying, give me also this power. <laughs> that on whomsoever I lay my hands, he might receive the gift that he might receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee because thou, because because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. My God. Did y'all hear that? So Simon the sorcerer wanted to try to buy this gift. Now think about this. He followed Philip after he got saved, but he was still power home. He still wanted power. He still wanted a father. So he tried to buy the gift of God. And Peter of the apostles rebuked him and said, listen, the gift of God is not for sale. You and your money should perish. How many know that the Bible said every believer? The Bible said we'll lay their hand, our hands and they'll receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That power is available to the believer that's filled with the Holy Spirit that in his name we can pray for them. And they can receive that impartation, that empowerment of the Holy Spirit. So Simon wanted to buy the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now y'all know it had to be some great miracles going on. That Simon the sorcerer was converted and got saved. He gave up sorcery. He gave up witchcraft to go with the men of God. But that spirit still had access to it because later on we read down here when he tried to buy the Holy Ghost. My goodness. I mean, know that the Holy Ghost ain't for sale. That's right. You got to receive it. He's a free gift right. that is given to the church. 
And we read earlier, Acts 1 and 8, that when you receive the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power. And, that, and, and the reason I wanted to, 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 to come out of Acts tonight was to let you see that through the gift of the Holy Ghost that the apostles prayed for people and they received the gift of the Holy Ghost, they cast out that demon of sorcery, that demon of witchcraft that was operating in Simon the sorcerer. And also when you read here, Simon the sorcerer did miracles. Phew. Because the Bible said he was, to them he was a great man of God. A great power. And they was amazed. They was astonished at him. You know, you got to do something awesome for me to be astonished at you. To be amazed. So that means that that Sorcerer was doing something that was not natural, but that was supernatural, but was demonically influenced by demons and spirits. So, and listen to this: the Bible said, "Gift and callings come without repentance." Gift and callings come without repentance. You know, if God calls you to be a prophet, you still can have that gift and be in the world. And that gift still works. Where you can see things. Where you can feel things. You can have that unction of, 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 because of the gift that is on the inside. So just because somebody prophesied don't mean they living right. Because the gifts come without, without, without repentance. When God gives you a gift, you don't take it back. You can either use it for good or you can use it for bad. That depends on you. But I mean, I don't want to go to hell. After I preach the gospel, cast out demons, raise the dead, heal the sick. And then that day he said, depart from me, I knew you not. You're workers of iniquity. I want him to be able to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Why? Right. Because I, I ministered and I preached to God's people out of love. I come here and try to preach and teach to people. I try to do it out of love. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for nothing, for fame and for glory. I want to see people delivered. I want to see people informed about the powers of the enemy. And when you read in 1 John, it talks about for this purpose for the Son of God manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. That's why Christ came, to destroy the works of the devil. That's why he anointed you. To destroy the works of the devil. To destroy the works of the devil. That's why God gave you the Holy Ghost. That's why he gave you power. And, and, okay, let, let's go ahead and read the last of this and we're going to get out of here. And then we get ready to go home. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. For thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Woo! Did y'all hear that? Now why did Peter say that? Because Simon the sorcerer wanted to buy the gift of God. How many know that God's gift is not for sale? Amen. We don't sell the gospel. The gospel is not for sale. People trying to sell it now though. Yep. But the gospel ain't for sale. The gospel is free. But, but listen to what Peter said. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. For thy heart is not right in the sight of God. The Bible said the love of money is what the root of all evil. That's right. He trusted in his money. He wanted to buy God. You can't buy God. He ain't for sale. Amen. Amen. He's not for sale. And when he tried to buy people, he said, man, your heart ain't right. For I perceive that thou art in the gallop of bitterness and in the bonds of iniquity. Ooh, Jesus. And then answered Simon and said, pray to the Lord for me, that none of these things which he has spoken come upon me. My God. And he asked the apostles to pray for him. How many know that when you 
find yourself in hell, hey. you ought to ask the Lord to deliver you, to set you free. Amen. Amen. And I just want to thank the Lord tonight. Amen. We, we, we're going to finish this up. We're going, to, we're going to get into it because I believe that the Lord wants us to be aware of these spirits. But, but, but also he wants us to know that we have authority over these demonic spirits. Amen. Amen. And, and, my, and my point for sharing this is to inform you about these different spirits. You know, so you can be aware of it. You know, that you won't get into sorcery. You don't want to get into witchcraft. You know, quit, quit dealing with that horoscope. Quit, quit reading that stuff. That, that ain't no God. Amen. 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 And let's let's get in the word of God and trust the Lord. Amen. Let us stand. We're gonna get ready to go home. Uh,